Hey everyone, Robert here, and I wanted to show you how to export a song from GarageBand and make a music video utilizing iMovie. And we're going to go ahead and tap on my GarageBand app. And as you can see, I have several songs here, and we're going to work with the Heavy Metal Happy Birthday. <laughs> it's a parody that I made some time ago. Um, the one thing that has changed with the latest update to GarageBand as of the making of this video is that you don't have the option of being able to have your menu and uh, tapping on that and choosing a song and choosing what to do with it. So what you have to do is you have to tap and hold on a particular song project like so and then your pop-up menu will show up here. So we're going to go ahead and tap on the share and at this point a lot of you have seen this before so what you want to do is you want to select the song choice and at this point you can add uh, your your artist name, composer name, album, all that stuff, but really it doesn't matter. We're going to keep it on the high quality, um, that type of thing, and we're going to tap on share. And then at this point, a lot of this you, you'll know, but what we're going to do is we're going to scroll through the top menu choices. Now these are the things that you can open up the exported song into. Now as you can see, I have a lot of apps that this will work. So you have to keep in mind the video editing apps such as the um, Anime, Anime Pro, the Cute Cut, these are video editing apps that I have on there and of course not Dropbox but a lot of these are apps that will open up this type of music file. So we're gonna scroll on over and we're gonna tap on Copy to iMovie. Now it'll go through the exporting process and this may take longer or shorter depending upon your song length as well as the quality. So you have a choice at this point that is if you have projects already there. Now you can choose to create a new movie or you can do your last edited my movie and I went ahead and created this my movie just as an example. So once you do that it's going to drop the audio file right in your movie that you have set up and this is one I just kinda had crucifixion poses that type of thing so we're, if we tap on play okay so you have that there and then of course you can add your photos other videos things like that and go through the export export process and saving all of this to your camera roll now just to show you what it is we'll go back to the heavy metal happy birthday and um, we'll go ahead and tap on play okay so you can hear that it's the same same quality same everything that is within all of this and it'll show up so if you wanted to go ahead and save it you can tap on done and then go ahead and go through the process of exporting it um, exporting it to a particular app saving it to your camera roll or you can go through and find other apps that you would like to edit this particular video but in any case it's a short little deal a pretty simple little deal that you can get into for exporting your GarageBand stuff to iMovie so one more time just to go through it when you get into GarageBand and you have your songs tap and hold so it'll bring up the menu tap on share tap on song whatever quality I would suggest keeping it at high quality tap on share and then it'll go through the process of giving you a choice now I warn you using the open in it will not export the song to iMovie you will see it show up as that it cannot import that particular song you have to go through the very top which is what I'm scrolling through right now and copy to iMovie or copy to any linear editing movie app that you have on here um, I have other apps that do not edit in linear mode uh, which 
will be another video discussing more into that. But in any case, that is what you do. I hope this tutorial helps those GarageBand users want to make music videos.